I wanted to share with you some resiliency philosophy. I had a little fun with this. I was thinking about you as I was doing this. So here we go. Just a little playfulness with some resiliency philosophy. Stuff happens. And some you control. When you think you can control it all, you're in trouble. People that think they can control the external world, which we're going to be exploring soon, uh, set up unrealistic expectations for themselves. I often have clients, and you may have experienced this too, that come and they want to fix somebody else and they want to focus the whole session on how to fix or change somebody else. And I say, oh, I don't see them here. Or the person that comes to the session and thinks they have destroyed somebody else's life by something that they said. And I say, oh, wow, you think you've got a lot of control and power, don't you? And then we kind of have a little laugh about it. By the way, humor can be very, very helpful in strengthening people's resilience. Some you don't have control over. This frog was not planning to be caught, I'm sure. Hope this isn't too distressing for you. And sometimes you hang on. You just hang on till you can muster up the energy or the courage to move forward. And sometimes you give up. Sometimes that's a good thing and sometimes it's not so good. It's discernment is involved here. But you could always pause and rebound. Reflect, pause, and then rebound. I just love the look on this frog's face as he is pausing, pondering, considering before he or she rebounds. And unlike a frog, we can ask for help. Hold her hand up and say, help, I could use some assistance here. We are hardwired for social connection. And we want to believe in the end, I'm greater than this experience. Mm -hmm.